No, there are two topics for me that get the elephant in the room. The largest one is PSD2 in open banking. I think there's a lot of discovery about finding it, but what that's enabled is a secondary thing, which is about the aggregation of payments and the aggregation of account services. So we're going to see a lot more discussion this year and over the coming months about people putting services together in one place. Well, today we brought the slide up. Uh, we launched the slide up on the App Store on the 7th of August this year. And what we're doing is we're bringing from our core technology, which is CashFact, which is virtual accounts, we're bringing that from the enterprise level right down to the small business. We don't see any reason why those smaller SME underserved businesses should lose out. So we're going to give them the full functionality that we have of four things. Their banking app, cash flow forecasting, bookkeeping and payments and we're going to put it all in one place and try and build as much as we can for them. We want them to have a unique easy experience to help them manage their cash and survive. Well the reliance on our solution is to work through the PSD2 links and open banking which we have in the UK as well and the biggest one is trust. We're uh, brave with many many pieces of technology in our life apart from our money so what we've got to get over is that trust element as well and as soon as people embrace open banking and they start using third-party services from their banks and from the fintech community which I'm one of I think we'll see the growth much more we'll see a lot more technology grow but our biggest barrier is getting people to realize that they can use a third-party service safely because we're regulated and we're recognized by the financial authorities in the UK. I think the biggest thing we're going to work for is aggregation of services. There's a banking ecosystem being built. So we've got it in travel, we've got it in many other things. In Amazon, in our daily lives, we can buy one thing and service it from one place. It's finally happened in banking. It happened in January last year, and then the bigger date is September this year and stuff. We'll see more and more things being delivered alongside banking data. So payments, data, insights. We're going to be able to give that consumer, whether they're business or retail, much more information about their financial life to let them manage it more effectively and also commercialize it on the side. So aggregation is the key for me.